Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, Yunus Shafiri is here and in this video and always in the series about room database for Android, we are going to start creating our models for the database or the entities. Let's get started. So here I'm having this models package here, I'm going to create a data class and call it. So it will be a data class and we are going to call it word. So in order to mark this word class as an entity or like a database table, we have to annotate it with entity. Like that. So that's the first thing. So there is an error here by the compiler telling us we should introduce something here. So first of all, I'm going to have like simple variable called the ID of this database and it's going to be in it. Now this ID is merely for the database. Now in order to make this ID a primary key, we have to annotate it with an annotation called primary key. Like that. That simple. That way I have class or table called word with a primary key. We don't have to create any SQL big queries for creating tables and everything. That's it. Now, for instance, if you want to have this ID as an auto-generate value, don't have to specify any value. Here, there is some set of values you can use called something auto-generate and can make it true. Now, this annotation also have some parameters you can specify here. Control P, you'll have table name, indices, primary keys, foreign keys, and so on. Like this primary key is same one as here, but sometimes let's say that we have two things, like we call it composite, primary key. Primary key is composed of two things. All right. You can have something like that. Let me just show it to you. We'll have, let's say we have the ID and we have, for example, our word, which is just a simple string. By default, the name of the column ID and word will match the name of the variable. If you want a different name in the database, you can do something like the following. You annotate it with column info like that. And here in the column info, you can give it some info. First of all, you can give it the name which is the most important. If you want to call it like word, I don't know, word string, for example. All the queries you have to make about the database should be using this word set string, especially when we are going to use the DAOs. We can give it also here, the column name here, for example, the word ID, and it will go to work fine. First of all, before, before I forget, you have to name your table. Well, it's not a must because by default, it will generate a table name called word, without this big word, but you can rename it. Like we can call it word table, for example. And be aware that we are going to use this name in order to query the word table. So make sure you know what you are doing. And then for this demonstration, let's say we go to use primary keys. Here you are going to give it an array. Now the array will be like simple two things, the word ID and this word string. Well, you can use this one, of course. And that way the primary key here is a composite. Okay, is a composite of this ID and word. This is just a demonstration, I'm not going to use that. Same here, I'm not going to use this also. Just let delete it, you can delete it like the following. And of course, I will delete also those with those name. Let me just put here primary key again. And let's put here auto generate true. That's it. Now, what you can also specify here in this entity is the following. Let's say that you have another thing. Let's say I'm just going to use something called counter, but I'm not going to store this into the database. I just need this element or this field here in the database. By default, room will create a column for that. If you want room to ignore this, simply annotate it with ignore annotation. That's it. Now, keep in mind that this ignore wouldn't work if you are using or inheriting from another class. Let's say that you have another class that contains something and you want to ignore that thing from the super class. What you have to do, there is here something called ignored columns. Let me check, ignored columns. Here it is, and here you can specify names of those columns, simply like that. Now you can also create here foreign keys and everything. Something else you can specify here in the entity, which is the indices or index in order to speed up the queries. Okay, so you can create here something called indices. This will take an array of an index object. You can specify multiple indices. So here I will just create index like the following and there is multiple things i can specify here if you go to the index here you will see like the value the list of the column in the index there is the order because the order matters like there is this unique or not now you can use this unique to reject duplicated within that column so let's say i'm having this word i'm just going to use like my simple word here for word for the index like following and i can make it like for example unique it will be true. So that way I will reinforce this constraint of uniqueness for that word. So this is how you can create an entity class with a lot of customization and constraint you can use with the room database in order to tell it how it can create this table from scratch using its SQL command. We don't have to write any SQL commands or queries here. It will generate those queries 
directly from here description. So we are just defining our database schema and from this kind of annotation, it will know what to write. We are going to use the same thing with this annotation in the DAOs in order to create the queries we want to use with this word object. So this is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos about DAOs. Salam alaikum.